Hey guys, welcome back. Before we get into today's video, I wanted to give you an opportunity to save some money at freshwaterscrub.com. Today's video is gonna be all about Carl. If you visit freshwaterscrub.com and you use the code CARL, you will get 10% off all of your purchases. Plants, merchandise, etc. You can go pick up your angelfish merchandise, our arowana merchandise, you can pick up sponge filters, terrarium tools, all kinds of plants for your aquarium, such as this really, really good looking jungle valve right here. So let's get into the video today. Hey, what's going on everybody? Well, we're back for another video. So today's video is actually not gonna be about fish. Today's video is gonna be all about hamsters. And throughout our time here on YouTube, we've actually made quite a few hamster videos and we're gonna look back at those here in just a second. Starting with our first hamster that we rescued from a dumpster. And somebody had reached out to Fanatic via Instagram and let him know that there was a hamster in a pet store dumpster and we drove to find it and we found it and we brought it home. So let's roll back and take a look at that for a second. There's nothing better than searching dumpsters for animals. Yes. Dumpsters. Yes. yes. Got it. What? Right by the dumpster. What? What's it say? Is that a note? Yeah. Uh, it says, please take live pet. After we got that hamster, we decided we wanted to get another one. And that's where Carl came in. And little Carl was living in this really cool DIY IKEA bookshelf cage setup that we had put him in. And we decided to move him into a smaller cage because we were about to take possession of a new hamster who happened to be blind. So we went ahead and moved Carl into his little bin cage, which he has loved for quite some time while we picked up this blind hamster. And let's go back and look at when we got her. We have this entire thing set up now, and now it's time to introduce you guys to our new little animal right now. So let's take a look. Well guys, I'm not sure if you hear this, but he is screaming and I just don't understand. Look at how sweet he is. He just does not like to be touched or something. I don't know what's going on. Poor little guy. Well, let's go ahead and get him in the cage here so he can get acclimated and, you know, understand that he's safe. There you go. Unfortunately, this girl was quite old when we first got her and we knew she wasn't gonna last too long, but she ended up passing away. And now that she has passed away, we're gonna stick with just little Carl for the time being. We're gonna go ahead and set up a really epic setup for him today in this Ikea bookshelf. But if you don't know who Carl is, this is little Carl right here. And Carl is a sweet little robo hamster. And I'm gonna tell you now, he's in my hand, and if he gets loose, he's gonna run. But it is taken pure determination and just absolute loving on this little guy to get him to the point of being able to hold him in my hand. When we first got him, he would bite you and run from you and he was just, I don't know if he was abused or what the deal was, but slowly but surely after many, many bites and bleeding tons because hamster bites hurt and they bleed, he is now finally to the point where I can hold him and he actually quite enjoys it. He'll come and he'll like crawl up into my hand from the cage. Now granted, if I let him down, he's going to take off. Right now he's just sitting here. He's asleep kind of in my hands and that's little Carl the little robo hamster and he is a cute sweet little guy and he is well it's time for him to get an upgrade so we're gonna put him into this new cage today so let's go ahead and get into this video Okay, so if you're not familiar with this, this is an IKEA Detolf or Detolf shelf that I have converted into a hamster enclosure. Now, I did not get this idea on my own. I actually learned how to do this from Victoria Rachel, who is a prominent hamster YouTuber, and she is the one that kind of gave me the idea, and then I researched it and such and figured out how to build this thing. I did custom build the top that goes on 
on here. What I'm going to be doing today is setting up a very naturalistic scape for little Carl here. And what we're gonna need to do to start is we need to separate our sand area. He does dwell in areas of sand in his natural environment. Now what I did is I created this little wood piece that has slots that allows me to separate certain areas of the tank by sliding over these little rails that are in here. So if I wanted to have a sand area and a natural area and such, I can do that. What we're gonna start with is this area here. I'm pushing this up here so we can backfill this area here with a bunch of sand. So let's go ahead and get that done now. Now what we're using for this is play sand, just regular play sand that you buy at like Home Depot, Lowe's, anything like that. That's essentially his sand area that he will have. So he will be able to play, bathe, those kinds of things in this sand. Put his little wheel in here. And then here is his little water bottle. So all is good now within the sand area. Now what we need to do is focus on the rest of this. And to do that, our first step is going to be, we need to go ahead and place his tunnel system in here. So let's go ahead and get that tunnel system and get that in here. Now Carl's tunnel system just simply consists of some PVC pipe pieces that we're going to use in order for him to have places to hide and things of that nature. Now for our base layer of this natural habitat, we are actually gonna use some more of this play sand. This will be used to build up this area over here for us to be able to place this tunnel system in a way that makes sense. All right, so now that we have this in here, we wanna come in with our next level of substrate and that is going to be some organic compost. And like I said, we're gonna be building this as a naturalistic enclosure for him. So we want it to be very natural and organic compost gives us that ability. So I think first thing we wanna do is go ahead and add him a little ramp that will take him up here and allow him to get up and down if he decides to come to this area up here. It also gives him access still underneath here to be able to get in and out of that side of the tube. And then he'll have access from back here as well to get in and out of that tube. And it'll be up to him to kind of find his way. And you know, he knows the tube. I did not clean the tube. So the tube will have his scent in it. And then we're also gonna add a little bit of some bedding from his old enclosure directly into the tube. So he has that scent. So that way he knows that this is his home and he will be good there. We also bought Carl a hamster safe house, which has a couple of different entries. It's really for his enrichment. Now he may never go in here or he may go in here all the time. I don't know, but he's gonna have it. We also have some other toys for him, a little wood piece with a bell in it. He does actually play with that. He likes that quite well. We're gonna put his other wood piece right up here so he has a nice little hide up here. And in fact, you know what? We're gonna put, he has a Timothy hay mat from his old enclosure and we're gonna put that up here as well for him. And we'll put that right on top of there for him. He actually has another Timothy hay mat and I think I'm actually gonna put this one underneath this howl. He has another little bridge here. We're just gonna move this one right here just, just to make, you know, for aesthetics for him to get from his sand area to his natural area. A little wicker ball that he has. Now Carl has a little hammock that's up here and I'm not sure, you know what, we can make that work. What we're gonna do is we will add his little ladder right there and he'll be able to get up there if he decides to do so. So that will actually work just fine. I'll take that out for right now. Just wanna make sure that was gonna fit. Got another little wicker ball here. So with that, I mean, I think this thing is pretty much done. Fill his water up. And then what we're gonna do is just kind of scatter feed in here. So Carl is in fact a forager for his food. So we'll scatter feed all kind of in here. You know, and the funny thing is, is uh, we may get grass growing from some of these seeds, I don't know. So with that, I think that overall it's done. We now just need to introduce little Carl to it. So let, let's do that. So here's little Carl and little Carl is gonna get introduced to his little house right now.
and there he goes. Going to check it out. He's running around looking at everything. He's like, hey now, wait a minute. What is this place? Hey Carl. And he's into his little tunnel system. And there he is back again. Oh, he just went into the house. So he did act like he was gonna go up this ramp, but ran into, oh, there he goes, look at that. He's up at the top now. I'm gonna kind of try to flatten this out just a little bit, just so it's not so hard for him. And there he is right there. He's checking everything out. He's, he's enjoying it. Oh, look, he just went up the ramp. You like it, Carl? I think I'm gonna add some more of his bedding up in here. Top of this Timothy hay mat for him to get up in if he wants to get up in there and burrow himself in that until he figures out how to burrow into the dirt. I did a lot of research on this and naturalistic setup, they do provide a lot of enrichment for them as he will start to dig burrows in the dirt and things like that, but you know, let me know what you guys think. I mean, this is a pretty easy setup. It did not cost a whole lot of money. The bag of organic compost, which I'm using organic compost because I do not want any kind of chemicals or anything like that in it. It's just natural dirt. The sand is at the bottom, just simply for the base of this. So the organic compost was about $5 for a 40 pound bag. The play sand is about $5 for a 50 pound bag. All in all, the toys that are in here I ordered some on Amazon. I probably got like $40 in the toys and such. So we're talking about $50 in those types of supplies. Another $10 for the water bottle and the wheel. So we're talking about $60 and then the bookcase itself was about $50. So we're talking about $110 to have a really cool setup. I say we go ahead and take a closer look at this. All right, guys, well, let's take a closer look at this thing. So he has his water and his wheel over here in his sand area, his bridge over into the dirt area with his little house that you've seen him go into multiple times since we've been filming this. He's got a couple of balls and a little wood wheel with a metal bell in it for a little bit of enrichment. He has his ladder system up to the second level up here where he has a nice little bedding area that he can burrow in until he learns to dig in the dirt. And he's back into his house again there. So he is... I mean, he looks like he is enjoying it. We'll keep an eye on him and see how he does. His other enclosure is still fully set up with the exception of the tunnel system, but it wouldn't be hard to put that back in there if he, you know, starts to show any signs of stress or anything like that. But right now, looks like he's just exploring and looking around and such. So overall, I think he's doing okay in this thing. But what do you guys think about it? Do you like the setup? Do you think it is a sufficient setup for this little guy? Now, of course, that little ladder right there is gonna go up to his hammock that is attached to the top to this cage. But overall, I think this thing looks pretty good. Hey, Carl. Hey, Carl. All right, guys. Well, hopefully you went on to enjoy this video and hopefully you enjoy Carl's new setup over there. He is over there actually in his... Can you hear that? I wonder if my mic will pick that up, but he's actually over in his wheel right now and he is running along in his wheel. He has been digging in the dirt. I think he really enjoys this new enclosure. I do wanna know what you guys think about it and whether you think that this is enriching his life. All I try to do is take care of this little dude and give him the happiest, healthiest life that I can. I really, really like little Carl. Like I told you in the beginning of the video, it took a lot of dedication to get this little guy to let me hold him without him biting my fingers off. And as you saw in this video, he now lets me hold him and he'll hang out out with me and I can you know play with him and such and he does really really well so I'm really happy about him and I'm happy about the way this enclosure has turned out and I'm sorry I keep looking over there but he just I can't help it he's such a cute little dude so make sure you comment below and let me know what you think about this new enclosure like I said in the beginning of the video if you have not visited freshwaterscrub.com use Carl as your code for 10% off little Carl wants to give you some money back with all your purchases so 
make sure that you go visit freshwaterscrub.com. Use the code CARL for 10% off your purchases. With that, guys, I really am truly grateful for each and every one of you and all the support that you give the channel. Thank you so very, very much. I am truly, truly grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And with that, hey, we'll see you next time.